Hey, it's Dr. Carla Biasucci. Welcome to this week's episode. I want to talk today about the number one rule for sustained practice growth. People often ask me, what's the one thing? What's the one thing to focus on? If I did nothing else, I just did this one thing, what do I do? And I always chuckle when I hear that. I think, so you want the one thing, not the 999 things that you also should be doing. And I mean, I get this question, question often enough that I want to just give you an answer to it, okay? So the one thing, if you had to pick one thing, I'm gonna tell you my rule is focus on emotions. I used to get asked frequently, what is the key to what you've done? When I first had doubled my practice a few times, you know, people would ask me, I don't understand what you're doing differently than everybody else. I used to get this question from my dental supplier a lot. You know, I'm in half the offices in this town. What on earth is it that you do? I don't know what you do. And I used to say this. I find out what people want and I give it to them. It sounds incredibly simple. But the deep part of that is I find out who the person is. What do they really desire? And I give them that. Not straight teeth. Not you know, whiter teeth, not a nicer smile. They want confidence. And I, and, you know, I want to know who this person is and you know, genuinely care about getting to know them. And my core team is the same way. And I'll tell you, you know, here's, a, here's a fact that is a definite writer downer. People remember 7% of what you say, but 100% of how they feel when they're around you. So if you don't genuinely like people, reconsider what you do as a profession because this is how it works, okay? This is the rule. Now I know that you know, if you're watching this, you're a healthcare professional and odds are 99 out of 100 of you genuinely enjoy helping people, which is why you got into the professions in the first place. So, you know, and I wanna give you some real data on this, okay? Don't wanna just take my word for it. So there's a great article that I read recently a Harvard Business Review article called An Emotional Connection Matters More Than Customer Satisfaction. You can Google this. Highly suggest you find it and read the whole thing. It's short, but very, very impactful. I'm gonna give you a couple of key points around this. It really hit home the need to focus on emotions as your number one goal in everything. So the key points from the article. Overall customer experience is no longer a differentiator, okay? Think about that. Everybody knows that your business rises and falls on customer experience, customer satisfaction, okay? But the thing is, is everybody's getting better at it, right? Everybody's getting better at it. Everybody, the, the, the dentist down the road, the, you know, any business within a, you know, you're on your block, they're all focusing on delivering the best customer experience because everybody knows that's not, a differentiator anymore, it's a requirement. It's just a seat at the table. The most valuable way to develop the patient relationship is to connect with them on an emotional level, okay? So not good enough just to have a good experience. They expect that. But the most valuable way to develop that relationship is to develop an emotional connection. So, key points. Continued, on a lifetime value basis, Emotionally connected customers are, listen to this, more than twice as valuable as highly satisfied customers. Okay, that is the thing to tattoo on your forehead. Patient has a good experience, that's great. Patient has an emotionally connected experience, that is awesome. I have a dental assistant team in my office right now that is amazing. They will literally, and I mean, they have a genuine, true love for people. Patient gets a new smile, patient is a little emotional about their change in appearance, they're crying with them, they're hugging. Like, that is real, but it's also really impactful. That is how you create raving fans, okay? That is the number one thing. So, set as your overarching goal as your true north for your practice vision, an emotional connection, not a, just a patient experience. Customer satisfaction, absolutely required. But you really wanna hit that next level, 
you want to be going for the emotional connection. So how can you work this into every touch point? This is a great team meeting topic, by the way. It doesn't even have to be a long meeting. Just sit down with your team and say, okay, guys, if this is true, and we all genuinely like what we do, we like people, we like helping people, how can we bake this in to every touch point? How about the new patient call? How about the first visit at the desk? How about the existing patients repeat visits? How can we make people feel valued and that we genuinely truly appreciate them and that they have a connection with us? If you can figure that out and start to put that into play in your team, this is going to be huge for your practice. It is unstoppable growth and especially multiplication of patients by referrals. So I hope you found that useful. Have a great week. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.